Yeah. Yeah. We're going nowhere. But God had a plan and a purpose for my life. And God has a plan and a purpose for your life too. To give you hope and a future. Amen. Amen. I had no future, but God said, I've got a future for you. I'm going to use you for my glory. Yes. Come on. Come on. So, hey, I started to share the gospel in many churches, and I became a pastor. No, I've never worked in pastor, pastor. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what? People are starting to respect me. Do they know about my past? They says, yes. The majority of people knew about my past. But they didn't see. They didn't see me as a criminal. They saw me as a new creation. Wow. I've worked for mainstream church. A lot of people knows me. Then at the end, I thought to myself, Wow, something is happening. So I started this organization called Fishers of Men, where I used to invite a lot of people to come to my house for a feed, and we shared the gospel. I think, wow, I can feed them, but I need to help them. So I started a one house to take in drug addicts, detox them at my home, Vikings, Mongol moths, the things, people that are coming out from prison. I used to invite them to my house and people would say, are you that stupid? You got four beautiful kids, two beautiful daughters, and two good sons. And, and these are all street people that comes to your house, sleeping in your house, detoxing in your house. Are you that stupid? No, I'm not stupid. God's given me wisdom to help people that is going through the same storm that I used to be in. Yeah. And through that, I've been running Fishers of Men for the last 18 years, but I've been doing this before that. And right now, many lives have changed because of the power of the word love. Amen. Yeah. Love that never fails. Love that came down and rescued people like us. Amen. They gave us this, back, this word called hope, not hopeless. Maybe I'm speaking to you individually today. But you've got to do something about it. You've got to take that one step of faith, which I did 25 years ago, 26 years ago, 27 years ago. That one step of faith. And say, if there's a God, can you help me? I lifted up my eyes and said, is there a God? And he helped me today. It's your golden opportunity to say enough is enough. I want to take that little step of faith to suss this God out if he can really help me. And, and if you need to get out from this environment, you're sick and tired of the dope and sticking picks up your arms, stick, your, stick of the ice. I was telling guys, it wasn't really called ice, it was called Shabu. I started it, and I saw how messed up I was. But today is a golden opportunity. It's not a, it's a divine appointment that you're listening to a person that has been in the same boat as you. It's called the boat of destruction. But I pray that you be like me, that will step out of that boat and start to walk on water. Amen. I'm giving you a golden opportunity to say, hey, God, help me. And if you're genuine and you really want to change, I have three discipleship houses that takes in street people, guys from prison out on the streets that wants to come into the house and be disciple of Jesus Christ. But today, you got to make the right choice in taking that little step of faith and say, God, I'm really sick and tired of what I'm doing to my life. I really want to give my life to you and change, but I don't know how to go about doing it. So today, 
just take that little step of faith and say, hey, I want to go forward. I don't want to look back anymore. It's your golden opportunity today to finally surrender to God that can help you to build back your identity, to build back your life. So please, my brother, I'm giving you the golden opportunity to step out, get up from your seat and take that little step of faith and say, enough is enough. I don't want to be on the streets anymore. Don't live in that lie. Don't live in that lie that you're all right. After 25 years of being a heroin drug addict, I still said I wasn't a junkie. I had no veins whatsoever. I was even shooting at my jingle bells. Neck veins. <laughs> People that understand, they understand my jargon. So today, today my brothers and sisters, step out. And I believe with all my heart, God is speaking to you now. Take that step of faith and come out. And we can only pray for you that that's just that little step of faith that God will take you into the promised land. Because he has a purpose and a plan for your life. Please, and if you want to come into my one of my discipleship houses, yes, it's not a program. It's not an institution. We are family. <laughs> All my brothers, sisters, and me. It's a family. It's a family. I pray that you join the family. I start to come here. I say, I want to deal with my life. I want to deal with my problem. With a little help from a friend. My best friend is called Jesus. Amen. He's never left me or forsaken me. Amen. He's given me my true identity. Tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.